各位观众，我是金宇熙。近两年来，在大荧幕上最能够让观众激动的事情，就一定是 IMAX 了。有人曾说过 ，IMAX 的发展将彻底改变了我们看电影的方法。今天我非常高兴，因为我们的嘉宾就是 IMAX 的老板 Richard g e l f i n IMAX 源自英文 Image Maximal， 也就是图像最大化的意思。它是目前世界上最好的影像系统，拥有最大的屏幕、最清晰的图像、最高的精密度、功率最强的放映设备，以及最高级的六声道多喇叭音响系统。当你面对七层楼高、二十多米宽的超大屏幕，你才能够真正体会到什么才是 m x 带来的电影终极体验。In an IMAX, you feel everything more. You feel the picture. You feel the sound. The surround sound, the picture, the action, everything, just all in this nice package. If you want to see your favorite movie, you want to see it in quality, go to IMAX. Period. Period. 你现在在全世界有多少块 IMAX 的屏幕？我知道有很多人说，哦 ，IMAX 最大的问题就是不够影院。There's about 450 in the world today. Of the commercial theaters, there's about 300 in the world. But the a typical IMAX theater will do about six to eight times what a regular screen will do in box office. So even though there's only 300 commercial theaters, that's the equivalent of up to 2,000 regular theaters. 能够让 IMAX 影院获得以一当十、超级人气的，除了它带给人们的非凡体验之外，另一大原因就是 IMAX 3D 技术的风靡。当你在影院门口领取到这副立体眼镜的时候，也就意味着你的魔幻之旅即将启程。IMAX 3D is definitely the best I've ever seen. Nothing is like an IMAX 3D film. Unbelievable. It's crazy. Like you can just literally bat. You can bat at things like like it's right in front of your face. People were like reaching out all over the theater. Rich. 好像全世界的观众，包括中国的观众，特别特别喜爱 3D、3D 啊、uh, ，IMAX 的 3D。呃、uh, ，你说这个是 game changer， 改变游戏的一件事，什么意思呢 ？Because I think we brought so many new people to see IMAX for the first time. IMAX has been around 40 years as a company, and we've been doing 3D for the last 20 years. But in the last year or two, there are these new tools. To make 3D dreams come alive, so Jim Cameron and Avatar invented these 3D cameras, and he took people to Pandora, an imaginary faraway planet. I think once people went there and they saw it, they said, "Oh my God, this is fantastic!" Here in China, someone told me that a senior member of government went to see Avatar in 2D, and he came home and he said to his son, "I saw Avatar," and the son said. Did you see it in IMAX 3D? And he said no. And the son said, "You haven't seen it then. You have to go see it." 而让 IMAX 从各大科技馆和博物馆成功走向市场，让看 IMAX 电影甚至 IMAX 3D 电影成为最时尚、最潮流话题的，无疑要归功于全球电影史上最卖座的电影《阿凡达》。I think he's a genius.、Um, I think there are different kinds of directors. There are ones who are really good at technology, and then there are others who are really good at storytelling. And some combine both. But I think James Cameron really combines both in a way that no one else does in the world.、Um, to prepare for Avatar, because IMAX had been doing 3D for about 20 years. James Cameron made two movies that were released in IMAX that most people never heard of, and he was developing the camera and a lot of technology in our offices. And he was asking questions, he was looking at films, he was listening. But he not only took the technical vision, but he figured out how to combine it with a story. And that's to me the the future of 3D. I think one of the problems is that people think you could take a bad movie. And you put it in 3D, and it's a good movie. I think it's still very much about the story, and I think that's what James Cameron realized: is how to marry the technology and the story. You 不敢得到阿凡达应该得到得到呃奥斯卡奖吗？今年？ Well, I'm a member of the Academy, and I voted for it, so I, I may have been biased. But I think 
I mean, the movie uh, is the biggest grossing movie of all time. Yes. Um, How much? How much? I think it's almost $2 billion, something oh. like that. And no, nothing against Hurt Locker. I thought it was a good movie. So uh, it was a small movie. And I think when you uh, break new ground and you yes. change the way the world sees movies, I think it, 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 it has to be recognized. To become, I don't know. 阿凡达获得了第八十二届奥斯卡金像奖的九项提名，可惜最终只拿到了三座小金人。最佳影片和最佳导演等重头戏都和这部史上票房冠军失之交臂。不过，作为合作方之一的 r i c h a 却在一九九六年就已经将第六十九届奥斯卡的科技成果奖收入囊中。你在一九九六年的时候得到过一个奥斯卡奖，呃，这个奖呢是为了就是奖励你，为了。呃，科学同技术呢做了特别大的贡献，呃，你当时的感觉怎么样？嗯、um, ，You know it was almost out of like、uh, old TV shows that I watch. <笑> I said I want to thank my employees and thank the Academy because you have to thank the Academy, right? That goes with it. But it, it was really very thrilling when they first said, you know, you got an Oscar. I thought, you know, an Oscar. I don't know that, how big a deal is it. But once you hold it, it's it's very heavy. heavy, as you know, and it's like potato chips. When you eat one, you want more. <laughs> so when you hold that Oscar, you say, "Wow, this is pretty cool." 那以前拍过的经典电影，比如说《飘》或者《Titanic》，他们都会变成以后会变成 3D 吗 ？I think some of them will be made into 3D, and I I know the Star Wars they're talking about doing, Titanic they're talking about doing. Um, Gone with the Wind. It may be too old. I don't. I. I don't know whether the quality of of the film is there. Harry Potter. What about Harry Potter? If they do it in 3D, you think it wouldn't work? Well, we're involved with the next two Harry Potters, and we've been involved with the last three Harry Potters. 就在 IMAX 影院风靡全球的时候 ，Richard 逐渐把市场的重心移向了中国。在失博的这几个月里，他更是频频出现在中国观众的面前。那中国的情况怎么样呢 ？Um, in Greater China now there are 33 open, 23 in mainland China, but um we have a backlog. So for example, we're opening AfterShock in about a month, Feng Shaogong's movie, and we'll have two more theaters in、uh, Shanghai, more theaters in China. So at the end of 2012, we should have about 50 theaters in PRC and about、uh, 75 theaters in Greater China. 你去了世博会，感觉怎么样？ I thought it was incredible. I mean, the design of the pavilions was fantastic.、Uh, I took a、uh, golf cart and I drove through all the roads and I looked at them. And you know, I, because it's a temporary thing, it's only six months or so. I thought it would be temporary buildings,、yes. and I looked at it and it was like this amazing. futuristic, a, 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 amazing city. I didn't have time to go to a lot of the events, but I went to the China Pavilion, which I thought. Was fantastic, you know, and really educational. And I love the scroll on the wall that comes to life. Extremely creative. So I was very impressed. IMAX 电影的每一次发展都和世博会或者各种世界级的展览会有着密不可分的关系。一九七零年，世界上第一部 IMAX 电影在日本的富士展览馆播放。一九七四年，美国华盛顿州的世界博览会上，美国馆展出了一块二十七点三乘十九点七米的巨型 IMAX 银幕。期间共有五百万人次观看，有少部分观众甚至发生了类似晕船的现象。一九八六年，在温哥华的加拿大展览馆 ，IMAX 公司第一次展示了 IMAX 三 D 的电影效果。而在今年的上海世博会上 ，IMAX 公司也带来了最新的三 D 电影《哈勃太空望远镜》。But here I am. For decades, the Hubble Space Telescope has provided us with unparalleled visions of the universe. But its future was in jeopardy. I go through the mission in my mind and ask, what could go wrong? Are we ready to handle it? On the final mission to Hubble, seven astronauts embarked on an expedition to save it. One, two, nine. And an IMAX 3D camera was on board to capture it. Today, evening, we are going to go to the Hubble Wide Field. 
3D、3D， 你可以告诉我们一点点关于这个电影吗？ Um, IMAX built its roots on making documentary films. That's how we started. And as a matter of fact,、um, our first theater in China was at the、uh, Pudong Science and Technology Center, and we had a film we made from space. We filmed our cameras. And the first time I went there and I saw these、um, Chinese kids grabbing out to touch things, it, it was really an incredible feeling because it, it, IMAX makes you feel like you're really there in it. And these kids felt like they were in space. So we've made a series of these movies, and the most recent one about Hubble,、um, we flew in the space shuttle our cameras、um, to film the repair of the Hubble Space Telescope. So we took part of the movie shows、um, that how it how it was repaired and how it looks, and then part of the movie takes the imagery that the Hubble took, and it's the imagery is in 2D, but using、um, our technology, we converted it into 3D. I'm going to say this tonight. Please don't tell anybody.、Okay. But、uh, um, I have to remind myself that it's real, because when you you've seen all these science fiction yeah, movies yeah, yeah. about yeah. space, but this is what it really looks、right. like. This is an and I mean some of the things you see, you see clusters of literally billions of galaxies, and you see it like it's floating around your head. So it, it, it's very very special, and、uh, I hope you have the same reaction. It's real. It's very real. It's it's hard to imagine. I hear that、uh, tonight is also a sort of a joint thing. You, the U.S. Pavilion also invited almost a hundred guests、uh, to come. And they have、uh, one of the U.S. astronauts is coming also. Yeah, yeah. So maybe she can tell us if it's real or not. Yes, I know that would be really really fun. So let's go to the screening. I can't wait. Just looking out the window here, and it's an unbelievably beautiful sight. Traveling around the planet at 17,500 miles per hour, the astronauts of the space shuttle Atlantis have only one chance to secure Hubble's future. If there's some risk that goes along with achieving a dream, I think it's worth it. If they fail, we lose our window into galaxies so distant their light has taken billions of years to reach us. The Hubble Space Telescope allows us to go to places so far away that it's inconceivable that humans will ever go there. Warner Brothers Pictures and IMAX, in cooperation with NASA, invite you to experience the wonder of the universe we live in on an incredible IMAX 3D journey through time and space. 最近的两年呢、啊，我们全世界的经历到一个、嗯、经济的危机，差不多所有的生意都做得特别不好，除了阿凡达，除了 IMAX 三 D 以外，呃，可以说 James Cameron。绝对是创立了一个电影电影史上的一个旗帜。呃，我的朋友 Richard， 我在嗯、呃、纽约看到他，忙得不得了；在中国看到他，也是忙得非常厉害。原因就是他的生意做得非常非常好，我们都应该为他高兴。<笑>